Well, a common question, are high-rise buildings safer to live in or low-rise buildings better from the point of view of surviving the earthquake? Now, NDTV science editor Pallav Bagla traveled to the under-construction supernova complex where an 80-floor, 300-meter-tall building is being made on the banks of the Yamuna in Noida. Now, this will be North India's tallest building and where we have an engineer and managing director of the construction company explaining why perhaps high-rise buildings are safer. Is this urban jungle called Delhi safe from earthquakes? I am standing almost 50 meters high in what will be North India's tallest building, Spira. 300 meters tall, 80 floors. I have with me Mr. Ani Ray, who is the managing director of the Arabian construction company which is making this building. Mr. Ray. Is it correct that high-rise buildings are unsafe as compared to low-rise buildings when it comes to withstanding earthquakes? Actually, contrary to popular belief, high-rise buildings are much more safer because it's designed to be flexible and for seismic load, the flexibility matters. If it is rigid, it has more chance to collapse. And if you see the whole structure, it's, uh, it has a 50, 60 meter below the ground, the piling is there, then there is a 4 meter uh, thick raft, and then these are the mega columns and the core walls, which are supposed to take the whole load. So in terms of an earthquake, I can swear it's, this building, Spira, is pretty safe. So people need not worry when they come and live in this building? People are much more safer. I mean, what we see and what we believe sometimes are different. In a low-rise building, it's not designed for earthquake, but these type of buildings are designed for earthquake and it's constructed in that way that the every best quality in terms of the in terms of the raw materials, in terms of the workability, these are all followed and other than the design, of course. So that was Mr. Ani Ray telling us that high-rise buildings are designed to withstand earthquakes and as compared to low-rise buildings, because of that, high-rise buildings may be able to withstand high-magnitude earthquakes. With camera person Prem Singh in what will be North India's tallest building, Pallav Bagla for NDTV. Well, back home, the farmers in Bharatpur in Rajasthan are still trying to salvage whatever is left of their crop of wheat and mustard following unseasonal hailstorm. But with the loss much bigger than the compensation actually being provided by the government, 